Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another video on the application of Laplace transform. And here we'll solve example number 14.1, already solved in the book. We'll discuss that. And this is from the book Basic Engineering Circuit Analysis. Now just for your reference, we'll repeat the steps that are involved. The first we transform the circuit from time domain to S domain, frequency domain, or Laplace domain. Then we'll solve the circuit using any of the analysis techniques. And then we take the inverse Laplace transform to come into the time domain. We also recall uh, that the circuit in S domain including initial conditions are given by these. These are the two possibilities of the inductor circuits and these are the two possibilities of the capacitor circuits. But when the initial condition is zero, this becomes very simple. The inductor just becomes SL and the capacitor becomes 1 over SC. From here, this term becomes zero, so it is SL. And from here or here, the other term becomes zero, so it is 1 over SC. So this is just for your reference. Okay, now let's start with example number 14.1. This is solved in the book, but we'll try to make it slightly easy if possible. Okay, the question is that we have to find the output voltage. This is output voltage in both S domain and time domain. Now this circuit is in time domain. So first of all, uh, we have to convert it into Laplace domain or S domain. So we uh, will be taking help of some of the formulas and one of them is this formula. Uh, now our input is in this shape e raised to the power minus t, e raised to the power minus e a t. So we'll convert the input into uh, Laplace form, which will be it's 3 e minus t milliampere. So 3 milliampere will be 0 0.003 and e raised to the power minus t from this formula will be s plus 1, 1 over s plus 1. So this whole thing uh, in Laplace will be or in S domain will be uh, 0 0.03 divided by S plus 1. So this is the first one. We have to, uh, register will remain same, no change in the register in uh, time domain or in S domain. But the, as you know that the capacitor will change. And so we convert the capacitor, capacitor in Laplace domain with zero initial condition will be 1 over SC. So plugging in the value of C25 microfarad, this will become 40,000 over S. So we'll plug in this value there. Okay, so this is the circuit now in S domain. We have changed the um, current or the source current and we have also changed the capacitor value and we have changed the output from G02 to V0S. So let's now find out a couple of ways you can find. Number one is that you can take uh, KCL and find the current in this, then multiply by this will give you the voltage. But the approach uh, followed by the book will follow the same is that he has solved this in parallel and you know the voltage in parallel uh, will be same, the, that is the voltage here, will be same as the voltage here. So let's do that. Okay, so this is our uh, final circuit in S domain. And now we need to find the output voltage. And there are a couple of, a couple of ways of finding this output voltage. One of the ways, as I mentioned earlier, was that we could have uh, used the CDR to find current in this branch and then find the voltage. The other way is that we find the total parallel resistance and then find the voltage across the parallel uh, parallel impedance and that will be the voltage 
or you could have also used nodal method, mesh method, whichever way you feel convenient. So since the book has taken these two in parallel, so we'll just follow that. So writing these two in parallel and multiply by the current, we find the output voltage. And now let's, uh, since they are in parallel and you know that in parallel, the equivalent circuit can be written as multiplication of the two divided by sum of the two. And now we'll uh, plug in the values of R 10k or 10,000 and 1 over s c is 40,000 over s same in the denominator and from here you can see that we can take a uh, common 10,000 and they'll get cancelled or uh, we first of all we are multiplying this with the uh, s term so we get this and now we take common so this simply 10,000, 10,000 from both will get cancelled. So it will be 40,000 over S and 1 plus 4 divided by S. This term remains as it is. And now the denominator S in both gets cancelled. So it is 40,000 over S plus 4. And this, when we multiplied, we get 120 at the numerator and S plus 4 divided by S plus 1. Now, since there are two uh, factorial terms at the denominator, so we, has, we have to take help of partial fraction. And we can write it in terms of A divided by S plus 4 plus B divided by S plus 1. These are now the two unknowns that we have to first of all find. Okay, so we were here and now we'll take help of the residue method and you know in the residue method we multiply this function by the denominator of the term or the unknown term. So first of all we want to find for A, so we write A is equal to denominator of A multiplied by the function. So this is the function, or this is the function. And then we put the condition that S plus 4 is equal to 0. That means S is equal to minus 4. So this is the condition. So when we multiply this by S plus 4, so S plus 4, S plus 4 gets cancelled. So it will be 120 divided by S plus 1 and we put the condition of s is equal to minus 4. So putting minus 4 here, this will become minus 3 and minus 3 uh, dividing 120 will get the answer of minus 40. So this is the first value that we get. And same way we will find the value of b. Now we are multiplying by the denominator of b. So by the denominator of b and the condition will be now s plus 1 is equal to 0, that is s is equal to minus 1. And same way, now we'll have now 120 divided by s plus 4 and putting the value of s minus 1, so s is minus 1, so it will be plus 3, so 120 divided by plus 3 will give, uh, will get the answer of 40. So now we have got uh, these two terms, uh, VUS is now equal to minus 40 over S plus 4, this one, and plus 40 over S plus 1. And now uh, to go into the time domain, we can, will take help of this formula, and it's very familiar. If we have in the form of 1 over s plus a then in the time domain we get e minus a t and we multiply it by u t also because we are operating in the positive t region. So for this we will have minus 40 and here our a is 4 and here our a is 1. So let's see what is the answer or we can just rearrange, we can arrange the positive term first and then write the negative term. And now taking inverse Laplace, 
So this term will become 40 e raised to the power minus 1t because here a is 1. So minus 1t or minus t ut. And similarly, in this case, it will be minus 40 e raised to the power minus 40 because our a is 4 here. So from here, it will be minus 4 t ut. And taking ut common, we can write the final answer. Uh, as it is given in the book. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem. Thank you.